Hi there, my name is Johnny at Man and Machine. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new issues tool that sits within Revit to be able to pick up issues that have been created in Autodesk Docs. So this was a feature that has been available on BIM 360 for a little while now, uh, but since recently it's been available on the new ACC platform. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into a model that I have on one of my projects in the ACC platform. Um, and I'm going to create an issue within this model and then pick it up inside of Revit and then fix it. So inside of uh, ACC, what I can do here is I've published a full um, view of the model here. And I'm actually going to use the ability to be able to hone down on a particular level to be able to create this issue. So these levels are being pulled from Revit. It's quite a good way to kind of systematically run through your model if you're looking for issues. Um, and I'm just going to pick up on maybe just something quite basic. Maybe I'll change this door inside of Revit. So I'm going to communicate to the designer now that I would like this door to be changed. So you can customize the issues that you create. Uh, but the way that this works is uh, you create a pin on the element. Um, and that's actually now linked to that element. Um, and I'll give it a title. So we'll say that we want this changing to a single door. And filling in all of this information, um, that should be kind of, I suppose, a company standard if you're going to use this, because all of this is searchable. All the metadata is extractable as reports. So it's really useful to have all of this information filled in. To get the issue actually assigned to the designer, you'll need to actually fill in the assigned to as well. So whoever is assigned will receive confirmation that there is an issue they need to do something with. I can add a due date. I can add a start date for this as well all really useful information so that when something comes up in the future, you've got all of that information to reference back to. So now that I've created the issue, um, I'm going to pick up inside of Revit within this model. Um, so this particular model is a WorkShed model. So you would require Collaborate Pro to work on a model that uses worksets. However, if you just have Autodesk Docs, you can work on a model that does not have worksets, so a non-central model. Um, so this is available to anybody who has an AEC collection. As long as you're hosting a model on Autodesk Docs, that is not uh, a collaborated model or not a workset model. Um, so within Revit, um, this is available in 2020, 2021, and 2022. Um, you can now download V2 issues from your Autodesk desktop app where you would normally install your software from. And that's going to give you this tab at the top issues. And if I click on this manage issues tool, that's what's going to open up this window here that's going to give me all of my issues. So if I just refresh my issues in here, it's going to give me anything new that I might have created. And that new issue should be available for me to pick up in here. So I've got that change to a single door issue. Now, if I'm the designer in here, um, one of the things that's going to happen if I click on this is a lot of my models are going to be in the way. You can get around this if you um, export your views as separate floors, and you could pick up those um, issues then in those 3D views that have been created in Revit. However, if you have them, what I've done here, and you want to find that element, um, it's quite easy to do. I know that element is on level four, so all I need to do is use my view cube here to change my 3D view so that I only see that fourth floor. Um, so once that's done, what this issues tool actually does is it does put a pin on wherever that tool is. I've actually got the pins turned off, but I can turn it on. So I get a big yellow ball um, to tell me exactly where that is. So I'm going to turn that off and I'll follow the instructions within the issue. And so if I grab this door, grab a single door that I have in here. And then once I've changed this to that new door, I might update the issue so I can say um, perhaps that this is now in review. That'll then go back to the um, initiator of this issue then to decide whether that was the correct part of this, uh, the, the correct communication within this issue or whether this needs to then reopen. Or if it's done, then we can close out this issue. Um, so that's the issues tool inside of Revit. Um, it's quite easy to use as a good way of workflow there of being able to create issues um, within Autodesk Docs to communicate to designers. So perhaps managers who don't use Revit can actually start communicating with de designers who are using Revit. And quite easily as well be able to um, interrogate the model using Autodesk Docs. Uh, so I hope this has been helpful. If there are any questions, uh, please do get in touch with us here at Man and Machine.